So as you can see by the title, today we're doing the 2.5 thousand subscriber Q&A video. And the last time I did a Q&A was when I hit 500 subscribers. So people have been asking me to do a Q&A for just a ridiculous amount of time now. And in total, I think I got like 25 or 30 questions, which is honestly more than I expected. So there's definitely some people that ask questions that didn't make it in the video. But here's the first question, which says, what YouTubers do you feel like influenced your style of video the most? And this is definitely an easy one for me. There's three YouTubers that just immediately click in my head on that one. And those three YouTubers are Luna, Birdman, and Optimus. And they're easily in my top 10. Maybe all three of them are in my top five YouTubers of all time even. But yeah, that one's easy for me. Luna, Birdman, and Optimus. Luna was the reason I even started doing any kind of commentary videos in the first place. I mean, some of my first commentary videos were literally me telling a story over Modern Warfare 2 sniping gameplay. And I don't really watch Luna anymore. I don't think I've watched him in like probably almost a year at this point. But Birdman and Optimus, I still watch anytime they upload. Now here's a good question from Corcoran here, and he said, what's your favorite show slash movie and any Netflix recommendations? Now believe it or not, I actually don't watch like TV or movies or anything like that whatsoever. The only thing I've actually watched on Netflix or Hulu or anything like that recently whatsoever was The Last Dance, which is the documentary about Michael Jordan's career. So if you like basketball, I would definitely recommend watching that. It's a really good documentary. Actually, I still haven't watched episode 10. I don't know why I just never got around to watching episode 10, but I've seen the first nine hours of the documentary and it's all really good. Now the next question we have here is do you enjoy making videos? And the answer to that is obviously a hard no. I'm just here for a paycheck. Now moving on, but no, obviously I enjoy making these videos. I wouldn't make them if I didn't enjoy it. I would just like quit altogether or make something I did enjoy. I mean, I feel like it really shows on YouTube if you don't enjoy what you're making. Like if you're just making videos for a quick buck, I feel like it really shows on YouTube. That's not really like a viable plan, I guess. Now the next question here comes from my guy Ramesh and he says, how many subs do you think you'll have slash hope for by the end of 2020? Now, the answer for this question is definitely 10,000. I actually tweeted four days ago now, I'm going to have 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2020, by the way, which I think is definitely possible as long as I keep uploading daily or almost every day. And obviously, as long as the quality of my videos keeps improving over time. I mean, literally over the past 48 hours, I've gained over 100 subscribers alone. So 10,000 is definitely the goal by the end of the year. Now, this next question is a pretty interesting one. It says, do you ever plan on making any content outside of commentary. Now, I mean, the answer to that is absolutely. I definitely want to do commentary videos for years and turn it into a career. But later down the road, when I'm in like my 20s and stuff, I think I'm going to be doing some Steezy Kane type videos. I don't know. It all really depends on like where YouTube is and how that whole situation's going. If commentary channels are still like viable at the time, but like five or six years down the road, I'll probably be doing some kind of like vlog stuff. Now, the last question here says, what gave you motivation to start YouTube videos? And I guess the answer to that is just like watching YouTube. YouTube as a kid. I was watching like GTA 5 and Minecraft videos and I was like, wow, these guys literally just sit here and like play video games and make YouTube videos as a job. And it was like the most wild concept to me at the time. It seemed like the most fun job in the world. And years later, it still is to me. Like, I don't think there's a cooler job in the world than making YouTube videos. I mean, literally anybody can just make videos on stuff they enjoy and it just becomes a career for them. That, that's just a wild concept. But anyway, that's where we're going to wrap up this video. I think I forgot to say it at the beginning of the video, but thank you guys for 2.5 thousand subscribers. I'm pretty sure I hit 2,000 like last month too, so that's that's wild. But anyway, that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelexYT, and other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.